Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I feel like finally my hair is growing back. It's been so long and I feel like my hair is just getting at the length that I wanted. I want it a little bit longer, but it's getting there. And today I wanna to share with you a few ways that you can cut your own bangs at home. This is something that I like doing to save money and time. And also because sometimes you go to the hairstylist and you tell them certain length, but they end up cutting more than what you had in mind, right? And I don't know about you guys, but at least me, I'm the type of person that either if I go to the doctor, the hair salon, or I'm going to eat, I don't like waiting in line. It's something that I feel like it's a waste of time. And I honestly look how I can do it from home. That way I prevent that from happening. And some people, are the type of person that like going to the hair salon and getting treated by someone else, which is great, but sometimes it's just hard to find that right person. So I'm gonna show you a few ways to do it from home. It's super simple, so let's begin. So I'm gonna part my hair where I wanted to cut it. Right before this video, I took a shower, so my hair is super clean. And the only thing that I applied was this style milk lotion which is by she moisture and i love this brand for being cruelty free because i don't support brands who test on animals this is the only thing that i apply to give it shine and to make my hair feel soft and smooth so continuing i'm gonna part my hair so all i did was part it in the middle and i brought a section from the front towards my face so the first way to cut your bangs, you would bring your hair towards your face. And this is the most traditional way. You just use your fingers as guidance and you would place the hair between the fingers and just simply use scissors to cut. Second way to do this is grab an elastic and place it on your hair. So here I put the rubber band and then all you would do is light it down until you get the desired length and the third way is using this hair ruler which to me it's new i hadn't seen this and it's supposed to make it super easy to cut bangs so let's try it out so i'm opening this okay so as you can see it brings these two items so basically the ruler and inside the ruler it has these bristles so that when you place your hair in the middle it will come the hair through and you won't have any knots when you close it it clips to keep your hair in place and also has this level that way you can make sure that this is kept straight and you can also turn it sideways in case you want a sided bang. And I'm not sure about the quality of these scissors. I'm going to try to use it, but I'm going to compare it with my hair scissor that I like using. So I have to open this to place in my hair. This is the first time I'm doing this. I closed it. Clip. Slide it down. And I like that the hair feels tight and it's not loose. Today, I want side bangs. And I twisted the level like that. The only thing I'm thinking is that it might be a little bit hard to cut the hair that it's right behind the level. So I think about there, it looks fine. So I'm gonna start to trim. Mm. <laughs> so here it goes. Mm. I like how well it cuts the hair with this scissor. So now I'm going back with the scissors that I usually use and I keep trimming. So I'm right behind the level and the scissor is touching the level. So that part can be a little bit challenging. And there it is. That was easy and simple. 
So let me get my hair loose. Not bad. I really like how it came out. It looks like a really clean cut. Yeah, that looks super fine, right? And now I have this scissor, which kind of has teeth and it helps to clean the ends. So let's clean those ends a little bit. And in case you don't have the previous scissor, then you can use a hair scissor and just go in an upward motion and just cut the ends. So now I'm just gonna dry my bangs. So I'm using this three inch brush and my hair dryer. Okay, so there you go guys. So I put a few hairs on this side, but honestly, I would have preferred towards this side, but it's not that bad, right? <laughs> So that's it you guys, I hope this was really helpful. So what I think about the hair clip, it's actually called the Korea clip but I, I just call it the hair clip, is that it's super easy for those of you who might feel nervous about cutting your hair and feel like you need kind of like guidance, that way you feel like you're not going to make a mistake. And I really like that it grabs your hair really well. and. It did a good job, I like it, and I can see myself using it later on. I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can leave me comments, and I'll see you on the next video. Kisses! Bye! <laughs>